ثم أرسلنا موسى وأخاه هارون بآياتنا وسلطان مبين Beloved brothers and sisters, we were going through the life of the Prophet Moses, may peace be upon him, Musa alayhi salatu was salam. This evening we will see how Musa alayhi salatu was salam, after having served 10 years with whom the majority of scholars believe was the Prophet Shu'aib alayhi salatu was salam in Madian, he then missed his home after his marriage to the daughter of this man and he wanted to go back. اذهب إلى فرعون إنه طغى. I am sending you to Fir'aun, for indeed he is a tyrant. He is an oppressor. He has transgressed beyond limits. Now Musa alayhi salam, one man. Yes, he was big and strong. As we said, dark in complexion, big and strong. Mashallah. And he is now speaking to Allah subhanahu wa taala. He knows how he was brought up. He knows he murdered someone. He knows he spent some time. He knows he's going back to Egypt, but he's worried as well that they might arrest him once again because of the murder. So immediately he tells Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he says, Oh Allah, I killed a man from them. So I fear that they might want to kill me as a result. So he's now telling Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ya Allah, you need to take care of certain matters, Ya Allah. The firstly, he's made his dua. He says, now I've got a problem there. There is an outstanding issue, this murder. Then he says, he says, Oh Allah, my brother Harun is much more eloquent than I am. So send him as a prophet with me in order for him to confirm my message. And I fear, Ya Allah, I have a fear that they might belie me. So if you send Harun, he will be more eloquent and he will be able to convey the message that you have given me to convey in another way where they will be able to understand it even further. So look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gives him his wish. Allah says, Oh Musa alayhi salam, firstly, we have granted you your wish regarding your brother. We will grant you more strength. We will place on your shoulder the strength of your brother as you have requested. And we will grant you some form of goodness from us. What is this goodness? Allah says, which means that issue you worried about, the outstanding matter, don't worry. We will create an authority for you. They won't be able to harm you. With our clear signs, inshallah, you will be from amongst the victorious. Imagine one man, one man being sent to a whole superpower of the time. What do you think he must have felt? Had it not been for the reassurance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what would have happened? So Allah says, Now, Both of you go to Fir'aun. Two of you. I'm authorizing you. For indeed, he has transgressed beyond limits. So here, Musa alayhi salam is being sent. He did his own brother a favor. According to what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi salam said, the one who has done the biggest favor upon his own brother was the Prophet Musa alayhi salam. How? He actually made him, he requested that he become a prophet and as a result he became a Nabi. Subhanallah. Now Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells them, how do you talk to Fir'aun? There's a problem because you're going to this tyrant who says, I am God. He says, I am the biggest. He says, I am the highest. You're going to go to him. What are you going to say to him? Allah says, Speak to him with soft and kind words, very, very politely, so that he can actually think, he can remember, he can be reminded, and he can be fearful. Go to him and tell him, release Banu Israel. You have enslaved the children of Jacob, 
Banu Israel that came from the family of Joseph, the Prophet Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, and the family of Yaqub, the Prophet Jacob, may peace be upon him. We want you to release these people and stop oppressing them. Stop it. That was the prime message to start with. Now Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, he gathers his affair, he calls his brother, and they now proceed to Fir'aun. Musa alayhi salam went to him and told him, Irsil ma'ana Bani Israel. We want to send you to send Banu Israel with us. And we want you to release them and stop oppression. And you are not the God and so on. Fir'aun laughed at them. Idahum minha yadhakun. They were laughing. They were laughing at the signs of Allah. They were laughing firstly at the messengers, scoffing at them. And Fir'aun says, Qala Fir'aun wa ma rabbul alameen. You're telling me about Rabbul Alameen. What is Rabbul Alameen? He doesn't even say who is Rabbul Alameen. He says what is Rabbul Alameen. Look at the insult. That is a big insult. You're trying to call him an animal. Astaghfirullah. You say who is he? Not what is he? So Fir'aun in his arrogance, he says, Ma Rabbul Alameen. What is Rabbul Alameen? So Musa alayhi salam says, Rabbul Samawati wal Ardi wa ma baynahuma in kuntum muqineen. Whoever created the skies and the earth and whatever lies between it, if indeed you are convinced, Musa alayhi salam says, that is who Rabbul Alameen is. So, Fir'aun, when he heard this, what did he say? قَالَ لِمَنْ حَوْلَهُ أَلَا تَسْتَمِعُونَ He looks at the people around him. He says, are you listening to what this man is saying? Are you listening? Can you hear? Do you know of a God besides me? He is saying there's someone who created the skies and the earth and everyone. And that is the God who deserves to be worshipped alone. Nobody else. I am the God. So he says, إِنَّ رَسُولَكُمُ الَّذِي أُرْسِلَ إِلَيْكُمْ لَمَجْنُونَ Indeed, this messenger who is sent to you is mad. He is mad. Look at him. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. When the message comes to us, we surrender. We should not be like Fir'aun. To this day, Fir'aun is being worshipped by certain people. And to this day, those who engage in magic, they call on Fir'aun. Just like here Allah says, these people called on Fir'aun and they said in the name of Fir'aun, there are people who are living today who call the same Pharaoh. There are people who go every year for a festival at the pyramids in order to worship their God. May Allah protect us from Satanism and may he protect us from the devils. So Fir'aun, after that, we were speaking about the man who was a mu'min from the, from the family of Fir'aun. Allah makes mention of him in the Quran. There is a whole surah named after this man. Al-Mu'min, the one believer from the family of Fir'aun, anonymous. One whom they knew who he was, but his iman, they did not know he believed. But he was just now arguing with them or trying to reason with them more correctly reasoning وَقَالَ رَجُلٌ مُؤْمِنٌ مِّنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ يَكْتُمُ إِيمَانَهُ There was a man who was a mu'min from the family of Fir'aun who was hiding the fact that he was a mu'min أَتَقْتُلُونَ رَجُلًا أَنْ يَقُولَ رَبِّيَ اللَّهُ Do you want to kill a man who is claiming that his God is Allah the maker the creator you want to kill him وَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ How can you want to kill him when he has brought the signs from his Rabb to you to clearly see? وَأَوْحَيْنَا إِلَى مُوسَى وَأَخِيهِ أَنْ تَبَوَّآ لِقَوْمِكُمَا بِمِصْرَ بُيُوتَا وَجَعَلُوا بُيُوتَكُمْ قِبْلَةً وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةً وَبَشِّرِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ after his people made this dua to say, Ya Allah, save us from the oppressors and Ya Allah, protect us from the evildoers and so on. Allah says, we revealed to Musa alayhi salam that take your homes in Egypt, enter into your dwellings and make sure that you fulfill your prayers even in your homes, which means do not leave your home as though it is a grave. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, لا تجعلوا بيوتكم قبورا don't let your houses be graves. There's no salah in your house. This is why mostly his sunnah, he used to read it at home. So there was an environment in the home of salah. The house is live. It's alive. So this is what is being referred to here. Make sure that you fulfill your salah within your homes. They had their own salah. You see, if we take a look at us in salah here, we are taught to stand Stand as still as possible. With minimum movement, minimum shaking. 
Some people sway from side to side. To be honest with you, swaying is the acts of worship taught to the Mosaic people. The Jews do it up to today. You watch them pray, they have to shake. They have to shake when they're praying. Certain prayer. You watch the wailing wall, see what they do. This is why we say those prayers that people engage in, we need to know where they came from. We need to ask ourselves, is this from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa or is shaitan trying to trap us once again? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that which comes from other deens and other religions which is foreign to us.